Hey, guys. It's the end of the week. You know what that means. Friday. Let's we'll start with old Bob here. We got uh, Bob's cab over. Um, working on the overhead console. We got a little hole cut in there. I got a little box. Um, we're going to put a uh, backup camera, uh, seven inch screen. Uh, that way you can see these back fenders. So he backs it in the garage. He won't uh, tear the fenders off. And I would like to put some kind of a camera here shining down on the motor so you can monitor the motor from inside as well. Uh, so that's taking shape. Uh, I got a, the box is almost finished. I just got to finish welding the edges of it and I'll put it in. And the Barracuda, <laughs> I got uh, just a few minutes ago, actually, the bolts came in for the flywheel and the torque converter. I had a laugh. Jags. That's what the... That's what the bolts came in. Protected it well. <laughs> There's 20 pounds of uh, vacuum bags in there, but uh, it made it. Uh, so the motor will probably get put in this next week. Um, also got it back on the lift. So we're going to go ahead and measure out the back spaces on the wheels so he can get his wheels and tires ordered as well. Um, probably next week I'll do a video on measuring back space. I uh, had a lot of requests for that, people asking how to do that. So we'll, we'll do the, a video on that specifically next week. The Mustang, Shelby, we got it all put together and gapped. So worked on all the edges and the gaps and the lines. Um, before you start the body work, body work, it's really important to get all your edges and your lines and your gaps and everything nice. One of the uh, horrible pet peeves I have is looking at an edge and seeing it thick with mud. And a lot of that happens because they don't take the time to gap it correctly. So. If you work on getting all your gaps nice and smooth and all your edges to where they're flush, you won't end up with any thick buildup on the edge of the lines. And it really makes the job in the end look much, much better. So this has all been gapped. Um, all the panels are on it. So we'll get started probably doing some of the body work on this and uh, moving along. Uh, Brian Wolf's Camaro. We got the starter in yesterday. Thank God. Um, so I'm waiting for a couple pieces of hardware, which I should have Monday morning, and I will get the uh, starter and the exhaust in, and then uh, we'll probably start moving on to some of the wiring and plumbing. So got a good chance to get a, a little uh, head start on that next week as well. We have some parts. The Camaro in here, uh, Junior's been working on buffing all the pieces, so they're all wet sanded out. And uh, it started to uh, polish them. So I got to do the quarters. And I wrapped up the steering. The last thing I had to do to this was uh, connect the steering column down to the rack and pinion. This one was a little tricky. They uh, don't make a Borgensen that fits this particular rack. So I had to use the factory rag joint and the bar. Well, the bar is a piece of round stock. So I had to machine that into a double D, make a sleeve put a double D on with a Borgensen, and then it's pinned. So that took a little bit of time, but we got the steering wrapped up. So he's pretty much finished there. So really all that's left to do for this one is finish polishing it, bolt the front sheet metal on, and then this one's out of here. So made good progress with that this week. So all in all, um, had a pretty busy week. Got everything pretty much wrapped up where we need to be. Got some parts in for next week. So Next week, we should be able to make some great progress, um, which would be really nice. <laughs> but uh, you guys have a good weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week.